everyone guys thank you so much for watching today it's me here again and my little friend yo-yo as you can see yo-yo looks a little bit wet because he just had a shower okay we try to give him shower twice a week if that's possible you know, just to keep his body and his, his feathers nice and healthy okay but this is not what i want to talk to, to you today about i want to talk to you today about what toys what toys should you get for your parents okay so guys the first thing i'm gonna say is this so when you when you get your parrot from the new then i'm sure i'm sure most of us already have uh, our cage ready with the toys okay different colors different uh, different uh, materials as well so i'm sure that you will find out soon what sort of toys your parrots your parrots really like okay so there is a there are lots of different types of of toys and some of them are made of uh, wood and some of them are made of plastic and there is uh, even uh, some metal uh, used as well especially when it comes to chains chains that the toys are hanging on okay so one thing i have to say guys is a very important thing to decide before you buy the toy you have to ask if the toy is safe and it's healthy okay there is a lot of toys you can buy from uh, other shops or online you can also buy them from China as well. And that's where I would be really a little bit more careful because you need to make sure that uh, the color coloring that is used for coloring the uh, wood uh, is not toxic, okay? Because uh, what parrots what parrots what parrots like to do is they like to they like to dip the wood into the water to make it softer and then you know be careful that that color is not going to be dangerous, okay? Because it can be very very dangerous for your pirates okay so before you buy a toy guys always make sure that you ask the seller that you ask the seller if everything is safe okay and they should be able to tell you if something is safe or something is not okay let me talk to you first about what can be dangerous on the toys okay so for example imagine uh, imagine uh, let me show you for example a toy like this okay so i've got one toy for example here so this toy is mainly made of wood and there is a little bit of cotton as well as you can see is this strings okay so what i will be careful about here is well a lot of people say the cotton is very dangerous for your parrot if especially if they swallow it okay if they if they uh, bite if they bite the cotton and then they swallow it or not okay so that depends so again i'm gonna go back to the sentence that i said earlier you have to know your parrot. You have to know what your parrot does. Okay, is he very chewy? Does he chew lots of stuff, or does he just want to shred the hard bits? So and on. You understand? So I know Yoyo, for example, here he doesn't really like cotton. Okay, so I am pretty safe. I'm pretty safe to give him this sort of toy. And wood is all nice and safe. It's uh, the coloring that is used for coloring this wood is used uh, like in the food sort of industry as well so that's all safe okay so this is a sort of toy where you can be sure about so maybe when you're buying a toy make sure it's made of wood and cotton and that will be pretty safe but again i have to say depends if your parrot is chewy does it like to chew uh, sort of cloth clothing material or not okay the other toy guys i have is this one here okay let me show you so this one here okay this one is nice lots of things on it there's a wood there's a plastic but there's a there's a metal as well okay so guys there's a couple of bells you see so again if you have a small bird and i'm talking more like a more like a budgies or canarians yeah or maybe even cockatiels i think this should be pretty safe i mean the only the dangerous thing can be is the chain where they can maybe get stuck with your nail or foot or beak but it doesn't really happen to be honest it's very rare that can happen but what you can do in here guys you can replace this chain so when you buy this toy you can replace this chain with a uh, sort of string okay that's one thing you can do and this plastic guys again this plastic should be safe until your parrot doesn't your parrot doesn't destroy it and doesn't swallow pieces of it okay so again you have to know if your parrot is destroyer or he just wants to nibble a little bit on it and uh, just a little bit play with it, make the noise, you know, from the bells 
and that sort of thing, okay? But if your apparel is a shredder, like here, Yo-Yo, then what I would do, I would take these plastic balls away and I just give him uh, pretty much just the wood. And I keep the chain on, but when they're playing with the toys, guys, it will be, it will be quite good to, uh, it will be good to watch them, okay? So keep watching them. Maybe what you can do, just take these pieces off, okay? And just give them one piece at a time, yeah? Like, uh, I, have, uh, I have a few pieces over there, you know, just on their own. So he'll just, he'll just grabs one and just destroys it, okay? It's very healthy for their beak as well, yeah? And then other thing, guys, so let's forget this set of toys. Let's forget these toys. And let's talk about toys like, uh, like this, okay? This sort of stuff, okay? So you can use the toys which uh, usually little kids play with, you know? So here we go. So this is a, well, this is a sort of Macau, Macau toy. And Yo-Yo's uh, best friend, here we go, and his girlfriend probably as well. So this is another thing, okay? So he loves to play with this one. So sometimes I just grab it. Oh, you can see he's happy now. Sometimes I just grab this toy like that. And I just go, hello, Yo-Yo. You know, this toy is very happy and Yo-Yo is very happy too, you see? Shaking his head. Yes, he's very happy. Very happy here. He loves this toy, yeah. So sometimes you can play with him, you know, instead of just leaving him playing on his own. And you can just go like, hello, yo, yo, you know, how are you? Toot, 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 you know, and you can stroke him, you know. And then you'll see again. So, you know, you have to, you sort of have to try lots of different toys and you see the feedback you're going to get, you know. Yes, yo, yo. Yes, yes, he agrees. And he's got a few more. Let me show you. Let me show you a few more he's got. So he's got also, he's got also this one. That's his little favorite friend as well. Flamingo, you see? So this one, sometimes I grab them both and I go, oh, hello, yo, yo, we are your friends. We are your friends, you wanna play, you know? So I, I do I do play with him every day, to be honest, like this. So uh, I know for sure that he loves these toys, okay? And when it comes to colors as well, I think, I think, I would say, I think that they would, they would do enjoy more colory, colory toys as well, okay? So if he's green, I'm sure he'll, he would like a green toy as well. So I got one, let me show you. He does like this one as well. He does like this one as well. So this is a bigger toy. You can see, you can see he likes it. This one actually talks as well. Hold on. Hello, yo-yo. Hello, yo-yo. Yes, so this is another toy. He loves this one because it's the same, similar colors like him, you see. Yes, so far, happy, happy. Yeah, so this is a set of toys you can guys get, get as well for your partner, okay? So, you know, especially if you don't have a, if you only have one bird, not two, then um, I think your body might like, might like uh, to have a little companion. It's not really real, but oh, okay, he's hungry. So you can decide, you can decide what sort of toy you want, but I would recommend, I would recommend to give him um, I would recommend to give him uh, the hanging hanging toys for for the cage, but uh, I wouldn't really leave it there. You know, I would just give it to him for a little bit and then take it away, or make sure he plays with it in your presence. You know, so it's not dangerous for him. Okay. Otherwise, he would take the pieces out and you just give him cer certain pieces of the toy. Then that should be that should be pretty safe. Okay. Otherwise, uh, I think. I believe very important is that you play with him as well. Don't just let him play in, play on his own, okay? Because uh, you will build this, uh, you will build this massive strong bond together, and that is uh, something that is important for parrots because they are very social, social animals, okay? They need to socialize with each other as well. So you remember, you are his flock, you are flock of your, of your parrot, which means you have to do things together, okay? So he wants to play with you, you should be playing with him too. And then here and there, we'll leave him to play on his own. And by again, it depends on what parrot you have. Some of them are more socialized than other. But uh, even if they are not socializing much, then you can do a little bit harder to help them to get better, okay? Guys, so this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and everything, you know, the links and all this, this and that, you know, as it should be. Me and Yoyo will be looking forward to see you again very soon, okay? Thank you guys and see you later. Bye-bye.